So, hi Aries, welcome to your reading. So we're doing this. All right, so this is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Welcome to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. And I'm doing just general readings for the sign of Aries. So this could fall under love, money, and basically any other life, any other aspects of your life. That, and you can get here clarity, introspection, right? So we're going to get some messages for you. We're going to look at your energy. We're going to see what you're moving past and what's coming up for you in the future. So welcome in Aries. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups and it came out in the reverse, but I'm taking it in the upright whilst considering it in the reversal. So Nine of Cups is that happy energy. So I feel like you feel good emotionally. I did too see the Eight of Cups fall out of the deck earlier and I put it back in there because it was I felt it wasn't ready. But So I feel like many of you went on your journey. Um, maybe you went to follow your heart, follow your dreams. Um, I feel like maybe some of you even got married in a committed relationship there's something that's making you feel happy and fulfilled right now something going on with you i feel this good uh let's see so your obstacle okay so we see the four of wands card here the four of wands card is usually at that brink of celebration so it's that marriage about to um get married perhaps some of you here so it's like on that brink of celebrating, not crossing the line as yet, but almost there. So something that you desire is coming through for you. And I feel like it's making you very happy right now. Oh my, we have the devil card. Maybe this is, because earlier I was going to say with the nine of cups energy, this could be drinking a lot. I feel like maybe you're staying at home and you're popping bottles. And that's why you feel like you're celebrating. Maybe you are celebrating some achievements, but maybe you're overindulging too. Maybe you're, experience, you're, going, you're experiencing these feelings of euphoria. Maybe you're getting attached to those feelings. And maybe that's the devil energy, some type of an attachment possibly to drinking areas. Unbelievable. Okay, fire sign. All right, let's see what you're moving past. Mm, being alone. This feels like you're aligning, you're somehow aligning with your intuition, coming together with some aspect of yourself that maybe you were distant from. I feel like something has come to light for you, maybe something from your childhood, like a new realization. This is also a fire sign in the Two of Wands card here. This could be a person that you're separating from. This could be you, you moving from being lonely or you know not moving at all okay some of you could be spying here or wanting to have a deeper understanding of, of what is going on I feel like with this energy maybe you feel lonesome at this point like wandering w w a n wandering wandering and wandering both words we're gonna take a close look at this soon Clarify for the two of wands card what is aries moving past what is aries moving away from oh my okay oh oh my gosh are you seeing this we have the two of hearts and the ace of hearts i feel maybe did you i feel like i right, saw so the jack the knight this is the knight of wands right the jack of the jack of um clubs here it feels like you're because the jack of club clubs is that lover boy energy of our girl of um being uh desirous that energy it feels like you're uh hmm. maybe some of you over celebrated overindulged in the past in uh, maybe your sexual desires here aries or maybe you want to maybe you, you want this connection because here it seems like you're alone but maybe you're looking at someone maybe you find someone attractive or someone finds you attractive and then we see this card here maybe you lost a love a true soulmate connection because the ace of hearts along with the two of hearts 
Oh my God, that's like so many divine union, a commitment, a true partnership. Maybe someone stepped away from this. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the three of swords here. And the three of swords is normally a broken heart, betrayal, a loss. So maybe you did something and you maybe, as Aries, you're regretting this right now. Maybe you're, you're trying to deal with it by maybe overindulging in drinking too much, all right? Then we have the page of swords. Maybe I feel like you want to take the lead in your life. Be more, be more deliberate about your actions. Maybe own up to your truth too, you know? I feel like own up, stand up, man up to what it is, or woman up what it is that happened some of you may want to disconnect from this soulmate connection over here this could be with a water sign and maybe the water sign was the one that did this okay so water sign is cancer pisces or scorpio hmm all right let's see what's coming up for you okay we have the six of pentacles i feel like clarifying Clarify the Six of Pentacles for what is coming up for Aries, please. What is coming up for Aries? Oh, it fell. And then you're back at the bottom here with the King of Wands. Maybe starting a business, being of service. Oh my gosh. It fell to the floor. Literally, this is literally the, the Six of Pentacles repeated again to clarify the Six of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Maybe some of you are starting a business here in your leadership position. Um, I feel like you feel good. Are you, You're about to feel good. You're about to receive blessings. Definitely. This is gifts coming in for you. Or you are about to be a gift. I feel like this hurdle here, this um, celebration, but not getting there, this repetitive um, lifestyle of wanting to feel good. You know, like when you, you get addicted to something, you get addicted to that high, that feel good. Because this is emotions feeling good, having a lot to be thankful for, you know. And it's bordered on with the devil card here, and that's toxicity. But I feel like something is coming up. It's a gift. Let's further clarify for you. going to leave that there. Let's further clarify. Clarify both six of pentacles. What are they saying together here for Aries? What's... Aries to look forward to. Hmm. To come up for Aries here with the six of pentacles. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I feel like going back in the deck. Maybe love on the brink. This is a sword sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, here, as if your highest state you can arrive at now, what would work out best for you is to be standing in your true power, your girth, your foundation, what makes you feel good. Because the Queen of Swords is very defensive, very clear, direct, focused on what she or he attempts to achieve, annihilates that which is not serving in its purpose. This card is also gone with the wind, fabulous, so look good doing what you're doing. This could feel like you're also off balance as well. I feel like that intoxicated feeling, but I feel like it is saying, be grounded. To overcome. Okay, some of you are maybe wanting to take a break right now to relax, maybe to retire. I feel maybe retire. Um, mm, maybe wanting to give up, to sober up. That, that's the energy that I'm, that I'm feeling. Even the board Six of Pentacles energy here, it feels like being in a state of drunkenness. I'm sorry this reading sounds this way. I, all right. Oh my gosh, all right. So there's definitely, I feel like you maybe I'm um, really dwelling in this feeling of being hurt or betrayed, or maybe you were the one that inflicted someone with betrayal. Oh my God! And your hopes is definitely this is the ten of pen, the ten of cups card, and I feel that is definitely coming up for you for true. I feel you're going to have something to celebrate because at the bottom of this, oh my God! At the bottom of this deck here we have the seven of cups. So it's, even though it's confusion, I feel like you're going to 
have more options your space is going to be more open you're not going to feel trapped in one way of thinking so it's going you're like gonna have more options more things to focus on i feel maybe start being off service start giving start finding value within yourself too you know so that you have more to give and finding worth in yourself knowing that you still have value in you some of you could be moving toward an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn here and i feel this energy will definitely align you to some strong sense of worth all right so you definitely wish and hope for this happy just longing to be happy long wanting brand new beginnings want to feel good again for some of you it goes to the extent of really wanting maybe wanting your marriage back wanting to start a family because we this is the wedding card right um also like a soulmate union like two people that match right that can be mates together and work well together in a marriage okay for you the outcome is the moon we're gonna clarify the moon when I felt the face of this, this feels like a Cancerian energy. We did speak of a water sign earlier. This feels Cancerian, like that moon energy. I feel like she belongs with the moon card. He or she. Like this person is very radiant, but has a lot of mystery within them. Like their, their, their outer body glows with a smile, I feel. But there's a, like a, a deep fullness of mystery within this person's entire aura i look i kind of i feel i like this energy of a person here i feel like let's see as if you have secrets that only you know and you keep them to yourself and that's the energy clarify the moon card please the outcome hmm. wow Okay, so we have the four of wands repeated here again to clarify the moon card. So your barrier is is like your obstacle. Maybe this wedding wanting to overcome. Maybe what is this? A secret. We have the six of swords here. Maybe moving on, creating a way for maybe you are helping to create a way for someone or an energy is being moved out. Moon card clarification. Please. What is the moon card? Oh, I feel like, hmm, I want to say help is on the way, guidance, it feels like guidance and help, something that's coming to help lift you out of the broken hearted situation, the one that's keeping you in um, negative toxic environments, let's see The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like someone is going to come around you. This could be an earth sign. I did say it earlier. I feel like you could be moving to come into alignment with an earth sign. And this person, I feel like this person is definitely going to help you to to lift it. Like this, go, this is going to be a positive distraction for you. Earth sign again. Maybe it's work. Someone is going to cut, maybe cause you to want to start focusing on other things, being of service. I did say that earlier, being of service. It's something that you're going to enjoy doing. Maybe you're going to find a mentor too. This feels like mentorship also with the Queen of Pentacles energy. And the Moon card, it feels like... It feels like just slowly gradually drip like lifting yourself out of that energy just by focusing on something else as if the clouds slowly moving from over the moon so the light can shine the truth can be seen about a situation and i feel like this truth is more of who you are instead of anything else to bring out your light to see your smile again it's like to put yourself back in the world again for your presence to be felt again for you to become you again okay your individual self, your true nature, Aries. You know, get in touch with your fire sign, that creativity, that passion, that desire. You're you, you can't die, you are fire. Okay, so it lives within you. I feel like you do have water in you, moon energy. 
Pisces, Kenta, Scorpio. So align with your true self, bask in the moon's energy for the week and see how it helps to heal you. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Aries. Oh my god, I was about to ask for last messages. So let's see what these are. Maybe some of you are single at this point. We have the Queen of Pentacles again, repeated. And um, we have the Five of Cups. So I feel like you're, that change is coming for you, especially with the Five of Cups and the Six of Swords. Change is coming your way, right? You're going to be moving out of this energy, maybe starting a business, really focusing more on your strengths, your, your serviceability. Like you're going to, a change is coming up, causing you to take action, right? So you're going to be more in more action instead of looking back, because these feel like cycles, looking back, being stuck in this energy, maybe something that you lost, a, a, a connection that you wanted to be true, right? And it wasn't, it didn't really pan out as you intended. And so you feel sorry, you feel like you lost something and you keep living in this experience. But something is going to shift for you. Maybe it's this connection coming up because the two of cups came out for last messages. And this is a, another cups energy and it's the two of cups repeated here again for you. So a lot of confirmations that true love is going to find you or maybe you're going to reunite with your past energy. But I feel like don't bank on the reunification of the two of you. Think about more of unite, reuniting with yourself as if making a promise to yourself, a commitment to yourself, a divine order, okay? And see, we do have you represented here with the lion's head in the card once more, Aries. So turn up. I feel like things turning up for you. This is amazing, beautiful, right? So you're going to, the past is going to be an experience. Like you're going to be able to strongly feel like the past is an experience. And maybe one day you will have this repeat opportunity to have success. Okay. In what in maybe marriage or love relationship. Alright. So thank you so much for tuning in. Aries, I do hope you found messages here that resonate with you and are able to guide you along your journey. If you did, give my video a thumbs up and thank you for subscribing. Thank you to my current subscribers. Your support is much loved and appreciated. And remember, Aries, that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. Much love. Take care. Bye. Thank you.